Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. So, let's head on over to the Forsaken Fortress, and then probably do some more trading, because we still have to do some more of that. Now, how many things do we have left? Not many. Not many at all. Not many, uh, what's it called? I can't remember what they're called. Trio charts. But there are definitely some that we still don't have, and I don't know where exactly to find them. Which is a little bit concerning. I'll have to figure it out. But they should have a few more pieces of heart for us. Oh, bombs. Ah, why does that just explode when I'm near it? Oh, and there's a shark. This is just perfect timing. And gunboats. Ah, swim faster, Link. Swim. Swim. No, don't. No. Ah, I'm fine. Just say, please don't have a bomb spawn right in front of me. Why oh, is there so many things near the Forsaken Fortress? I don't know. Okay. Where is the treasure? Where is the sunken... sunken? Should be, I believe, around the front area. Yeah, there it is. Just need to stop right on top of it. Not quite, almost. Okay, this should be a spot. Probably. Close. Almost. I missed it. Nope, got it. There we go. I was going to be very concerned if a pot came up instead of the treasure chest. But I got it, so. Silver rupee for the void. Also completion, but you know. The void. Anyway, now, I don't think I have anything for the northern fairy island. But I think I have... No, I already did the other one. Okay, uh, the, one of the, tri the Northern Triangle Island I thought I hadn't done yet, but apparently I remembered that I have done that one. How many of these? I really wish it was easy to get through them. There's one chart that I haven't done yet, I think. I don't think any of the Triforce charts are d undone, not done yet. Yeah, it's just the, that's just the, just that one. Uh, which island is that for? I think it's that one over there, so it's gonna be a little bit of traveling to get there, but I can also teleport over to Dragon Roost to get there just a little bit faster. I also need to do the Withered Trees side quest as well. Which I already always worried about. For some reason. It's probably not going to be too bad once we actually get to it, though. As long as I plan my movements. You'll be fine. I really like how you can recognize the islands and where they are in the world once you get... once you've played it enough. Now, where is it? There it is. Okay. Three, two, one, stop. Use the Wind Waker to just stop immediately. Hopefully that will give me an easier time getting this. Maybe. I love how the gunboats are just missing. How did I miss? I stopped directly on it. Hang on. Just, 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 oh my goodness, they're going to shoot each other down. Well, that one did, at least. I think I've gone too far the other direction now. Just ignore me. Doing my own thing. Okay, this is the, definitely the spot. There we go. I don't know how they're that bad at their aim, but... 
I guess Star Wars exists, so... Another silver rupee for the void. And that should be everything we have access to in terms of treasure charts. So, let me probably go down here. So let me uh, teleport over to Forest Haven. Yes, let's do that. I have another concern about where the last Triforce piece is because I think there's also a treasure chart possibly there as well. I'll have to check that, but I kind of want to wait on that just a little bit first before we get the last piece of the Triforce. Which way am I going? The wrong way. I need to go north. But I guess I could get the last trifles piece anyway. We're getting fairly close to being done with everything else. I hope I've done... I'm pretty sure I've done those already. I think I remember seeing them both and wanting to do them first. But anyway, we're over here at Bomb Island, which I think we've already completed everything on. There is, if we get close enough, another familiar looking shape. For a familiar looking character. Which is not this guy with the telescope. It's another one of the traders with a different hat. Hey, have we met somewhere before somewhere? Aren't you? No, couldn't be. Me? I am but a poor traveling merchant. I travel the world searching for rare objects of all sorts. Modern and ancient, foreign and exotic. My dream has always been to someday open my own shop. But plans have a way of getting delayed, and now it's been 30 years since I started. Time certainly laughs at us all, huh? And still, day in and day out, the rain or shine, I spend my days looking for curiosities and rare items. Which reminds me, that delivery bag of yours looks like it might have some rare treasure in it. If you happen to have something of the quality that one would put on sale in a shop, would you consider trading it? I have many fine products to trade. If you have something you'd like to trade, could you show it to me, please? Okay, well, I can do that. So let's get out our exotic flower and see what you have for us if we trade. Ha, huh, why that's an exotic flower, isn't it? In that case, would you be interested in trading for this sickle moon flag? Sure. Satisfactory, then my fee will be... Hmm, gee, uh, 40 rupees, maybe. It's a deal. Thanks, Th that settles things. I'll give you your item, as promised. Hold on out both your hands. So we got the sickle moon flag. The flag of a bright red crescent moon is quite fancy. So, by trading your goods for my goods, we have formed a merchant's oath. From now on, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Island shop. How, you ask? Why? Well, my good friend the postman will take it there for me. So, uh, I'll probably get there before you do. Just go back to Windfall and check for yourself. Thanks again. So, we have a few things now. I don't know how many we have, but I'm probably going to want to go to Windfall and check that now. So let's go to do that, and then figure out what else we need to do for trading. Ah, that's not the right one. <laughs> I really don't like the way that you switch between the islands because you change the row first and then change columns. But yeah, it's just weird. Okay, let's go check the shop. Please get out, thank you. There's also a few other things we could check out as well, while we're here. But over here now, if we go to the, his little shop, we can see here he has the things that we've traded. Yes, yes, young master, look, already my shop has a wide variety of products to choose from. It is a cornu... cornuco... ah, I can't say that word. Cornucopia. 
Thanks to you, young master. Every morning, the postman comes with packages from the traveling salesman you traded with. At last, my humble stall has the appearance of a full-fledged store. My dear, your unflagged... <sighs> I don't... Unflagging dedication has strengthened my determination to live my life for the success of my business. Master, you are the savior of my stall. I must thank you from the very bottom of my heart. This is my most prized possession next to my hoodie coat. Of course, it is none other than the Zanari family treasure. Please accept it. We got the magic armor. Use your rupees to create a barrier around you that protects you from enemy attacks. You won't expend rupees unless you take damage from an enemy or other hazard. Set it and use it with one of the buttons. This is the only heirloom I brought with me when I moved here from my hometown. Well, excluding the lovely sale you purchased from me earlier, of course. It is a magical heirloom, one that calls up a mysterious power to protect your body from harm. Of course, you can use it when, uh, even when you are sailing the open seas, my dear. Please, use this to protect yourself as you seek out more merchants, I beg of you. And please, be on the constant lookout for new and exciting products. Not that I have anything left to reward you with, if you find any. So now, if we talk to him again... Yes, 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 it is another fine day, is it not? Days like this are the are best spent shopping. Use the left stick to have a look at my wares. So now we can actually buy the different things that we've traded for. Do not look at me, look at my products. <laughs> if you are sh shopping for chit chat, then we can do that at the reception counter, so we can't look at the flag immediately, so we have to actually go over here to look at it. Yes, 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 it is another fine day, is it not? Days like this are best spent shopping. That's what he said before, I'm pretty sure. But there's a sickle moon flag. It's also interesting that he expanded his short, uh, store just to get that last product in. So, let's head on back to trading and see if we can get some more stuff for his shop. Since there is a few more things that we can get for him. Also, that treasure chest has disappeared. I don't know why it did that, but anyway. It's probably fine. We need to probably warp, though, just because that's probably a little bit faster. So let's head over Tingle Island, I guess. I think I'm going to go to uh, Mother and Child Isles to check that. I do want to get all of the possible items for his shop because I think you can take shortcuts to get to the most important stuff. Okay, I feel very turned around right now. Which way is mother and child? That's... I need to go north that way-ish, I think. Okay, there it is. I was so confused. It's fine. But anyway... Man, these sharks just don't give up. Also, how do I have 28 bombs left? I should have a lot more than that by this point. Considering it's very easy to get refills in this game. I like it when Zelda games, it feels necessary to buy things. Like refills. But there are a few where it just doesn't feel like you ever need to go buy something in a shop. Unless you absolutely have to. I probably would have actually had to go buy bombs if I didn't have the upgrade for my bomb bag, but also it just it hands them to you, so just go going to the great fairies. Anyway, I have a sickle for you. Or a moon flag thing, I don't know. How oh, why well, that's a sickle moon flag. Close enough. Right? In that case, would you be interested in trading for this big catch flag? Sure. Most agreeable. Then my fee will be... That's the... That thing you gave me looks kind of old. So I'll need to 85 rupees in exchange. It's a deal! Thanks. That squares us. Kind of. I'm guessing I could have probably got a much better deal than that. At Great Fish, probably. Here's your item, as promised. Hold out your both of your hands. I... It's fine. 
So we're trading for my goods. You and I have formed the merchant's oath. Thanks again. Well, that was something. Where's the thing? Where's the thing? Come on. I'm... There it is. Okay, it's having trouble. It's fine. This flag was made by a fisherman from a foreign land and designed to encourage a big hole of fish. If you place, if you find a place to put it, set it and place it with, yeah. Cool. I'm pretty sure that's the same information it would have been before, but anyway. I just wanted to make sure that I had it. Let's head to Great Fish since I can actually teleport there immediately. It'll be a lot faster than sailing there, that's for sure. I guess it's not as hard as I thought it was to actually sail to, or get, yeah, get to the islands with the traveling merchants. But anyway, let's go talk to this one and see what he's willing to trade. Hello, good sir. Just gonna stop here if I can. Now, what do you have to say about this? Will you trade me? That's a big catch fish, is it not? In that case, we should be interested in uh, trading for this fountain idol. Sure. Most worthy that my fee will be. Looks like your item is offering kind. Of, uh, your offering is kind of dirty. So how about sixty-five rupees? I have plenty of rupees. So I'm just gonna do it. You got a fountain idol. This is a strange statue of a girl carrying water. If you find a place to put it, yep, yeah, I know. Merchant's Oath. And there we go. So now we have this statue fountain thing. Uh, so let's head north to see if we can get another thing from Mother and Trout Isles, otherwise I might have to go back to Bomb Island. Quite possibly. Oh wow, I'm way off, that's fine. Although I feel like I've made a skip over one of the things that could be sold to me. Quite possibly. I don't like how this arrow behind me isn't actually following straight. Because it only picks a specific direction, I guess. Depending on which way I'm going. It just doesn't fit well into my brain, apparently. Anyway. Let's stop off here again. I'm surprised at how quickly my speed just disappears when I'm right next to an island. Hello again, sir. Nothing happens. Cool. Throw this away? No, keep it. I almost threw it away by accident. Huh, well, that's a fountain idol, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading for this big sail flag? Sure. Most agreeable then, my fee will be... Yeah, I've got a cheap deal for you. How about 35 rupees? So this is a good thing to trade with him. Hold out both of your hands. Big sa sail flag. This flag looks like it would definitely be good for business. Merchant's Oath created. Okay, with that, let's also head back to Windfall and see how the shop's looking now that we've done... A few more trades. Come on, please. Thank you. <laughs> Link must feel very sick spinning around like that. Here we are again. Also... 
We could have actually gone to the bomb shop way earlier in the game, but they were gonna be too expensive for us to actually buy. But after we get the bombs, uh, the shop actually sells them at a price we can actually afford. Just want to point that out so you can actually buy bombs there if, we need, if you need them. But anyway, now we have an even more, more shop to buy stuff from. Yes, 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 and it's another fine day. Best spend shopping. So now we can buy the fountain idol as well as the other two flags there. But we are not quite done yet because we need, I think, two more things, possibly. I might be wrong about that, but I think it's only nine things. Probably. So anyway, let's probably head to Bomb Island if I had to pick a place to go to. Although I, I could probably trust Great Fish, but I want to check Bomb Island again. And I'm probably wrong about it being only nine. Okay, north. It's over that way. Let's -a go. Man, sailing is such a nice feeling. <laughs> it's what I think about Sea of Thieves as well. Just sailing. Navigating. It's a lot of fun. It's very enjoyable. Okay, let's see what we can trade with this. How? Why, that's a big sail f flag, isn't it? In that case, would you be interested for tra trading for this hero's flag? Yes, I would. My fee will be... Yours has some cracks in it, so I'll need 75 rupees on top of the trade. I'm making the worst decisions right now. Oh well. This flag has a rather courageous feel to it. Cool. Merchant's Oath created. I'm guessing I still can't trade stuff back, can I? Here's flag. Big catch flag. No, I'm good. I've already got one of those back at the store, which I could buy at any time if I want to. You can also hold up to three uh, of the tradable things. So you could have multiple flowers or multiple flags that you can check at each store to see what they're worth. Let's get a great fish then. Actually, no, I should have probably gone to Mother and Child Isles. It's fine. I'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure I should have gone to Mother and Child Isles, though. It probably doesn't matter that much. Probably. I hope so, at least, so. Okay. Hello, Mr. Sir. Mr. Merchant. I have this for you. Here is flag, is it not? Postman statue? I'll buy that. Most worthy, then my fee will be... 100 rupees. For this one, I'm afraid. Thanks, that, that sells things. This is a carving of the Rito Postman, hero of all Ritos, and a symbol of laborers the world over. Merchant's Oath has been formed. Thanks again. Okay, now let's head to Mother and Child Isles and then probably come back here. So, Tingle Island is probably the closest point to sailing there. I didn't... I could have just sailed from Great Fish, but I think it's going to be slightly faster to sail from Tingle Island. Actually, no, it's probably about the same. Strange. I just wish I could teleport to there and not get put inside of the island itself. Where am I going? 
that way. I need to remember that I can also jump to a quick turn. Not that I've needed to do that for a while. Just turning a lot. That shark is not faster than me. I will keep up with it. I think it is actually slightly faster than me, but that's okay. Because I'm gaining on it, maybe. It's not going away, so must be keeping up with it. No, no, you're gonna crash. Oh, he's, oh, he's fine. Probably. Okay. I have a postman statue. What will you give me? Postman statue, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading for this shop guru statue? Sure. It's a statue of the shop guy in... Oh, this is super rare, so how about 200 rupees? It's a deal. Oh, it's a statue of the shop guy in Windfall. This little statue is, a, is the apple of every businessman's eye. Interesting. Merchant's Oath formed. Very, very nice. And I think... The shop is probably upgraded as much as it possibly can. So let's quickly head back to Great Fish, since we have the stat the Golden Guru statue. Because we can trade it there for something that is not what we have so far. Oh, Storm, thank you. I like Storm. Storm is good. Storm is so good, actually. Man, if there was, like, really thick fog in this game, just imagine that. Okay, Shop Guru statue. Is... is that... it couldn't be. The Shop Guru statue. Such a divine figure. Surely this is none other than the legendary individual who reigns at the peak of the business world. Oh, my oh, most worthy day. Wow, my lifelong dream has uh, at long last come true. Such joy. This is my thanks to you for fulfilling my dream. It is a, it's a heart-filled reward, brimming with gratitude. All right, hold out your hands. Don't have to pay for anything, just get a piece of heart for trading it. My, but I have received a worthy item tonight. I will hold this close to my bosom as I sleep tonight. As I sleep. I can't wait. Cool. So now we've traded that. We don't have anything else to trade at the moment. Also, my cursor went away again. I don't know why that happens. And let's head back to Windfall to check the store now. Even though it's stormy right now. It's fine. Totally fine. I'm definitely missing a few tradables, though. So I'll have to do that. Also, can we just get out real quick and head into Beetle Shop, please? Get some more bombs, I guess. Oh, he hasn't got bombs. Do I need arrows? No, I don't. Also, the magic armor is in our inventory, filling up the last slot. I can't. Why does it always do that for some reason? There it is, right there, though. We can equip that to one of the buttons. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about something else that I'm missing as well. So, let me head up this way and change it to day, because we need it to be daytime to actually see what's in the shop, I'm pretty sure. But look how much this place has grown. This empty spot in the world is just full now. Song of Passing. Well, there we go. Most of our things are filled in. I think we just need two more by the looks of it. But look at this. It's so cool how much this has changed. 
I mean, we can buy anything we need right now for trading, so I'm gonna go to the guide. Shock horror. Now, how... 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 Okay, so I need an exotic flower. And I need a fountain idol. I think. So let's do that. Where am I going? Please speak. Okay, exotic flower, I hope. I'm pretty sure. And. Please. A fountain idol. 60 rupees. Okay. I think that's everything we need now to trade for the last two items we haven't got in the shop yet. So let's go do that right now. If I can. I, will, I, I might need to check where I need to take these though, possibly. Um... Okay, so I need to go to Great Fish and Mother and Child. So let's probably start with Great Fish. Since that shouldn't be too difficult. And then we'll head to Mother and Child. For the last time. I wonder how the Islanders feel about a random... Cyclone. Right next to that island. I wonder how they feel about Link getting pulled up with it. I'm tempted to also check this beetle shop, but I should probably not waste any more time at the moment. Okay. Now, I th what do we need to trade? Probably... The fountain idol. So let's do that. Huh, that's... A fountain idol, is it not? In that case, would you be interested in trading for this Skull Tower idol? Yes, I would. Most worthy, though, my feet will be. The colors on that thing you're offering has, have faded most terribly, so 60 rupees. It's a deal. Thanks. That's those things. Skull Tower idol. It's made of the fossilized skulls of strange creatures. It's pretty weird. Find a place to put it. You know what to do. Merchant's Oath has been created. And now there's one more left to do, which we need to go to Mother and Child Isles for. So let's go ahead and do that. Just need to aim in the right direction, which I think is further that way. Can't see it because it's too far away for it to appear on the horizon. But there we go. The trading sequence is uh, a lot less complicated than it looks at first. You just need to go to the islands. You can pretty much guess wh which ones you need. Uh, but you might need to try a few. Because there's only specific things you can trade at specific spots for specific re rewards, so. Like the Skull Tower and this other one that we haven't got yet, so. The Guru Statue, gold gr Golden Guru Statue is the last one in the, in the lineup. Which leads to the piece of heart, obviously. Okay, we are here. So let's go on out. And let's go ahead and trade the exotic flower. Huh, why that's an exotic flower, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading this, uh, that for this pinwheel? Sure. Most agreeable, then my fee will be... Well, that thing you've got doesn't look so hot, so I'll need 55 rupees for mine. It's a deal. And there we go. The last item. The wheel on it spins when it catches puffs of air. It's quite fun. Quite, it's kind of fun. If you find a place to put this item, you know what to do. Merchant's Oath. 
the last item. There we go. All of the items that we needed. Let's go take a look at that very quickly. Since we've done all of that now. I wish I could skip this cyclone cutscene. But I guess it needs time to load a few things, probably. Maybe? Maybe not. It can load pretty fast for some areas. Like going in and out of a cave kind of thing. Well, here it is. Every item in the shop. It's very nice. Uh, I don't think he has anything else to give us now that we've done all that. Another fine day, just best spent shopping. Come back soon. Cool. But anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.